Hi, this is Patty with Ronatiska. A lot of people don't like weeds, but for those of you who know me, you know that I really love weeds. And the reason I love them is because it allows things to grow and become who they really are. Like, for example, did you know that grass is a relative of corn? And whenever you let grass grow pretty long, you can kind of see that it resembles corn a little bit. And it has a, a little stalk pretty cool but what I really love are the little wildflowers that you can pick you can only pick them they're only going to grow if you allow them to get a little bit longer so if you're mowing your lawn and you're not letting it get tall you're not going to get these beautiful wildflowers now I wonder what makes these little purple flowers purple I wonder if they're destined to always be purple let's go find out so I've brought my beautiful purple wildflowers in here so that I can do a little experiment. My question was, are they always purple? Why are they purple? Do they have to stay purple? Well, um, the trick that we're gonna do here today involves acid-base chemistry. Now, what you need is to grab some of these little wildflowers and you need some ammonia. So be very careful because ammonia, you don't wanna use it in a small room. It's it has a lot of vapors that don't smell very good and you don't want to get it in your eyes so you want a parent to help you with this but the neat thing about it is these little flowers contain this chemical that's a complex chemical called an anthrocyanin I know it's a big word but basically when this is in a normal environment um, when the pH meaning that's not acidic and it's not basic is you know, around seven, so it's purple. But when we take it to an environment where there's more base than acid, meaning that the pH is high, it's gonna be a different color. So you can do this at home and it's a lot of fun. Ammonia is a base. And if you take the flower You just, you don't want it to actually touch the liquid. You don't want to do that because the vapors are going to be basic and it's going to cause the color to change. We're just going to bend it. Put the lid on. We're going to let it wait. Now, remember, do not let it touch the liquid because there's vapors that are going to be basic. I mean, the pH is gonna be high, above seven, probably in the neighborhood of about 10. After a while, I've done one already that's been sitting in here for about 30 minutes so that you wouldn't have to wait for 30 minutes. But notice that now, when it's been exposed to a basic environment, the anthrocyanins, the colors of these flowers, are beautiful blue instead of the original purple. It really doesn't take that long to change them, but this was the original color. This was a very short time in the basic vapor environment, and this is a long time in the basic vapor environment. So we can also tell one more thing from this. We can tell what part of these petals are taking in that basic vapor first. And we can see that the outer parts are getting blue first. So it's taking in the vapors and moving this direction. So go pick yourself some wildflowers and see if you can get them to change colors. And if you get real tricky, you can take some vinegar, possibly do the same thing and change it back to purple. Have fun.